Hey everyone, this is Marvel here. This is part 12 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. I'm currently researching gunpowder because I only need one turn to finish that. And that's going to help me a little bit with my defenses over here. I'm not going to war with Alexander just yet. I basically don't plan to declare war on him until I'm ready to attack Mecha. And I won't be ready to attack Mecha for at least 10, if not 20 more turns. Gold deal? Oh yeah, I have free gold to trade. Well, two gold to trade. But I don't think I can trade it with anyone. I think Bodhika wants my gold, but she wasn't willing to pay me last time I checked. I guess I can try again. Even three or four gold per turn deal would be better than nothing. Oh, my deal for luxury is with Alexander ended. That's not great, actually. Hmm, can I trade with him again? Because, as I said, I'm not going to war just yet. So maybe? No? Oh, he doesn't want any of my luxuries. Okay. I don't think I'm willing to give him gold per turn for that. Definitely not. I know Portugal has some silk, but they didn't want to trade it last time. Yeah. They want arm and the leg for that. That's definitely not worth it. Well, I could give them some Aaron and horses, maybe. Let's try like this. Aaron, horses, crab and gold. Yeah, she's still not willing to go for it. I can add one gold per turn. Two gold per turn. I really want some extra happiness right now because my cities are growing quite rapidly. Wow, five gold per turn? Holy crap, she really doesn't want to trade with me. There we go. I'm not convinced that was really worth it, but whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a voting for the new host, so that's going to be Alexander, quite obviously. I'll vote for myself. But all the AIs always vote for themselves, so that means Alexander is going to be the new host. Unfortunately. I hope he won't propose anything stupid. But we'll see about that. He could pass a lot of proposals because he controls so many city-states that's becoming a bit of a problem now I need to try stealing some of these city-states from him but I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not anyway one of the reasons why I don't really want to go to war with Alexander just yet other than the fact I'm not quite ready to attack Mecha is that I will be able to upgrade a lot of these land units very very soon so, for example, once I'm done with industrialization, I will be able to upgrade my crossbowmen to Gatling guns. And one of my crossbowmen has plus one range and two attacks per turn upgrades. So, once I upgrade him to a Gatling gun, I'll have a Gatling gun with two attacks per turn that can attack from two tiles away. And that's pretty damn good. Especially for defense. So, once I get these upgraded units, there's no way Alexander will be able to break through this. Not to mention I'm allied with Sydney, and the AI can be a little bit stupid about that sometimes. I fully expect him to focus on Sydney, at least partially. So in general, I'm not too worried about his land army. I will be able to handle this. I'm more worried about Mecha. Oh nice, my capital actually needed silk. I wasn't even paying attention to that, but that's very nice. Now I have Will of the King Day in my capital for 20 turns. That's going to help a lot. Right, observatory is done. I would go for a workshop first, but I really want to get a public school. I think I'll grab a shrine for a little bit of extra happiness. I'm still a bit worried about my happiness. And circles here. And my worker needs something new to do. I guess I can grab the gold. Not because I plan to trade it, but because I need... I'm actually working this time right now, so I can get some extra yield from that. With the mine. Anyway, in case you're wondering what exactly I'm doing, I'm going to move all of these frigates to Mecha. And by the time I arrive there with all of these ships, I should have at least one privateer ready from Addis Ababa 
I'm about to finish Ikanda in Addis Ababa, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to build the privateer. I need at least one melee ship to actually be able to capture Mecha at all. Frigates on their own can't do that. I also hope I have at least some coal in my territory, because if I don't, that's going to be problematic. I have quite a lot of territory, but I had too many games in the past where I didn't have any coal at all. But maybe it won't be that bad, I hope not. Ah, oh, one of the city-states wants my religion, but I don't really have any way of spreading in there. Short of buying a great prophet right now. I don't think I can even use my faith for anything right now. I will be able to use it for Great Santis later, once I feel the rationalism tree, but that's not going to happen for a while. Still, that's mostly what I'm saving my faith for at this point. Okay, you stay here. I could actually move them like this. That's probably a little bit better. It's a shame I don't have dynamite because... That would make this much easier. With some artillery. But that's fine, I'm not too worried about it. If I'm desperate, I could always research chemistry and then go for dynamite maybe, but that's really not necessary, I don't think so. I don't even plan researching chemistry just yet, although I could research chemistry just for the production boost. That might not be a bad idea, in fact. Yeah, I'm going to grab chemistry after industrialization, but not because I want cannons. Because I want the extra boost from mines and quarries. I have quite a lot of mines and quarries. So let's keep moving. Oh yeah, Ikanda is done in Addis Ababa, so now I'm going to grab a privateer. I need to repair this manufactory to speed up the production a little bit. But I want to finish this road to Buenos Aires first, for some extra influence. With the extra influence from this quest, I won't have to worry about Buenos Aires for the rest of this game, I don't think so. I'll have massive influence with Buenos Aires. But I still need a few more turns to finish this. I moved in to get this section of the road because they were blocking it with the crossbowmen earlier. So I didn't want to get stuck without this last section. Oh, great writer, okay. I don't even have any slots for him right now, I don't think so. I, I have to finish this amphitheater in Nobamba before I can use him, yeah. But that's fine, that's only three more turns. I don't need to work on my tourism a little bit. But I will. Oh, okay, this was the cargo ship that was adding food to my capital. I don't think that's necessary anymore. Do I have any quests for trade routes? No, I don't. Oh, I, I lost Sydney. Not for long. Okay, so... Let's see, I could trade with Lisbon. Yeah, sure. Seems like a good idea to me. I need a lot more gold than this. 133 gold per turn is solid, but I'm not entirely happy with that just yet. I hope I can actually go through here and reach Mecca through here. Only one way to find out. I need a new job for my worker. I could just automate my workers, but I usually avoid doing that. Because the AI does silly things with automated workers. Oh yeah, I was going to grab a public school here, so let's go for that. Let's move to Mecca. I could explore this area a little bit, because I'm not declaring war on Alexander just yet. I might wait for rifling, because the MP upgrade to riflemen. I thought they are going to upgrade to lancers, but that's not the case. They do actually upgrade to riflemen, I checked this. Which makes Shaka even better.
Ramses wants to declare war on Bodica. Yeah, you go do that yourself. I'm kind of busy. If you ah, didn't no. notice, new ah, research no, agreement. No. Yes, obviously I accept. I think one of my research agreements is going to trigger in something like 12 turns with Ramses. I remember I signed that one soon after turn 200 or something like that. So yeah, that should trigger sometime soon. Right, you have to wait for a bit. I think I'm going to turn on quick movement. Because this is going to get old very very fast. And I'll have more ships to move around in just a moment. So quick movement it is. Let's finish the road. You go here. There's one more city-state somewhere on the map that I didn't find. Because right now I know of 11 city-states. I don't really want to waste time looking for it though. I have better things to do. What's that? Oh, I got a new unit from a city-state. Nice. I can't upgrade him to Lancer just yet because I don't have the technology. But that's always useful. I do actually need more melee units. No, that doesn't mean war. So I can go through here. That's nice. Shock one? Yeah. Oh, I can get Medic on him. Right. That's definitely a good idea. Can I get any more improvements around here? Oh yeah, I could improve the deer. That's definitely going to help. I'm still shooting for at least six frigates. Before I attack Alexander, or before I attack Mecha specifically. Portugal declared war on Ethiopia, okay. Interesting. That's actually good for me, I guess. Yeah, that's good for me. Because it keeps the AIs busy. Great scientist, nice. So now I can rush industrialization. Let's queue up some more technology. So do I want to get chemistry to improve my production in my cities? I think so. Then metallurgy, rifling and steam power. So that's going to be my queue. Right. I can also use the great writer. So let's do that. All for one, one for all. That is our device. And where's that great scientist? There he is. Industrial. Give me some coal. Coal discovered. I'll take that. Oh, one of the city states wanted a great scientist. Nice. Where's that coal? Okay, nice. How much is that? Free coal. Not a lot, but I guess that's better than nothing. Oh, and I see coal right next to Sydney. Okay, that should be enough. Any more coal somewhere around here? No, I can't see any. But I'm not complaining. I had games with zero coal. That was very annoying. So any amount of coal is better than that. Right, let's repair that manufactory. It's a shame I don't have a great admiral. That would definitely help. But hopefully I will be able to get one. Well... I will definitely be able to get one sooner or later, especially if I focus on my ships. Okay, amphitheater is done. What next? Let's grab a lighthouse, actually. And circus is done. I'll just go straight for some extra happiness. I'm a little bit worried about my happiness. I will almost definitely take a happiness hit once I pick my ideology. Right, what about this city? I don't need a lighthouse here. Already got fishing boats here. So... Stable? Yeah, I think so. I'm working at least two ship tiles with this city. No, oh, only one right now, but... I can definitely use a stable here. So let's grab that. Move this guy here. So I know this is a little bit boring right now, but I need to prepare. I don't want to just declare war when I'm not ready. In case that's not obvious enough yet. 
I think I'm going to wait for rifling. This is quite a valuable unit. He has a lot of experience. Well, not that much, but he does have quite a few upgrades. Open borders with Arabia? Yeah, I don't mind. But with my shortage of melee units right now, having this guy upgraded to rifleman is going to help a lot, to say the least. So I'm going to wait for that, most likely. It won't even take that long. And I have to wait for more ships anyway. I have to wait for my privateer at the very least, because without at least one melee ship, I won't be able to take Mecca at all, since ranged ships can't take a city, obviously. So three more turns for the privateer. And I'm probably going to want at least one more frigate. As I said before, I'm shooting for six frigates at least. And right now I only got four. With one more heading that way, I think. No. I didn't even finish building that one. Now I did. So do I want to move this one over here? How many turns is that going to take? Eight turns. Hmm, that's not too bad, I suppose. Alright, let's move him. I think I can handle this without frigates. Once the war actually starts. Right, six turns to get rifling. That's not too bad. And now I'm going to grab a public school in here. This is my fourth biggest city. And any city with population higher than 10 is definitely worth building public school in. I'm about to finish public school in my capital, so that's good. Repair. So I should be ready to declare war. Oh yeah, I don't want to go too close. Because he might ask me to move away or declare war. And I don't want to get a backstabber reputation. At least not just yet. So I'm going to stay at least three tiles away from his borders. Seems a bit excessive, but I don't need to move in just yet. I hope this one ship won't trigger it. I don't think it will. Ramses declared war on Bodica, okay. So the AIs are fighting each other quite a bit, that's good for me. They can keep each other busy. Okay, let's keep moving. You fortify over here. Oh yeah, I can upgrade the pikemen to Lancer now. Which is going to cost me 200 gold. I think I'll pass. I need to upgrade my uber crossbowman first. So, that guy. Now this is a Gatling gun with logistics and plus one range. That means I can attack twice from two tiles away. And he has fairly ranged attack strength. So that already helps a lot. Okay, public school is done. I need a specialist in here. There we go. I think I'm going to grab a musician's guild next. Because I need to work on my tourism a little bit. And that's only six turns, so that's not really a big deal. Right, I'm staying out of the way for now. Away from his borders. So this isn't going to be a very exciting part. Unless Alexander decides to declare war on me, but I don't think he will. Especially now when I'm upgrading these units to stronger ones. He might even decide to pick a new target. But we'll see. Oh, what? Friendly trade route plundered. Oh, great. Well, that's annoying when that happens. But not much I can do about that now. Okay. Oh, one of the city-states wants a trade route with me. I definitely need to do that quest. I want to get friendly with as many city-states as possible. That's my first privateer. So let's grab... Boarding party one. No, this doesn't mean war. So now I'm going to grab at least one more frigate in Addis Ababa. So the plan is, by the time I finish this frigate, this one should arrive around Mecca. And I can move from Addis Ababa to Mecca in around three turns. Yeah. So then I will have six frigates and one privateer. That should be enough to take the city. Again, I don't want to risk too much. 
I was going to wait for rifling anyway, and I need 4 more turns for that. So if I'm going to wait 4 turns, I might as well just wait 3 more, right? I need 6 to complete this frigate, and then I need 2 turns to actually move it to Mecha. So I will be declaring war within the next 10 turns or so. Also, my research agreement will trigger on turn 232, I think. Let's check this real quick. Deal history. Yeah, that's the one. So this is going to trigger in 5 turns. Great artist, nice. Oh, Golden Age, nice. I never pay attention to the Golden Age counter. <laughs> so that's a pleasant surprise. Another great work. And keep moving. Lighthouse is done, so what do I need now? Can I get some happiness from here? Yes, I can. My happiness is a little bit low right now. No, I'm not going to declare war on Ramses. I'm friendly with him, why would I want to do that? Oh, I lost one of my city-states, I should pay more attention to that. I still got this investor quest with one turn left. They don't like Ramses too much, do they? This quest might expire right now. Oh no! Alexander is 280 influence ahead of me here, so that's not going to happen. I could use this to get friendly, but whatever, it's too late now. I'll keep my gold. I'm going to need a lot of gold for unit upgrades anyway. I definitely want to get Cape Town though. So there we go. You stay here and fortify. Right, which city-state was it for the quest? This one. That should give me a little bit of influence with them. It won't give me a lot of gold, but I think it's worth it. Right, what do I need now? Not a whole lot. Not around here anyway. I can start a few more farms. So, I'm almost ready. I'm actually quite excited about this. I don't think I'll have any major problems with Mecha. And once I take Mecha, I'm going to liberate it. Harun is the weakest AI in this game anyway, so even if I give him his capital back, he's not going to be a problem. More wars. Oh, Alexander declared war on Ramses, perfect! So that will keep Alexander busy. At least once I declare war on him, he'll have to fight on two fronts. Which is never that easy for the AI. I should be friendly with that city now, and yes, I am. I could actually get allied with them. For 500 gold? Do I want to? They are specialized in berserkers. I'm not sure if I want to, to be honest. Oh, and yeah, I got a new policy. I'm going straight for scientific revolution. I think that's obvious choice in this situation, especially since I have the porcelain tower. So, scientific revolution seems like a no-brainer, to be honest. Right, now I'm only waiting for the frigate from Addis Ababa. And then I will be ready to declare war, pretty much. Do I want, do I want to grab the gems? I would have to buy this tile. 75 gold, alright, let's grab it. I should be able to sell the gems. World Fair? I don't want World Fair. I think I'll actually vote against this. Hmm. Some of the AIs might be pissed off if I do that. But I really can't afford spending production time for that right now. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could spend a little bit of production time in my capital and in Bolawayo. But I wanted to build up my military, not spend time on the World's Fair. I don't really want to vote against it, though, because the AIs will be pissed off. They usually like it, especially the more peaceful AIs. I don't care about jewelry ban, because I don't have any, obviously. I don't even know of any mercantile city-states, and that's a luxury resource from mercantile city-states. So that would suggest the one city-state that I didn't meet is a mercantile one. Hmm. I could help Austria with the luxury ban and get some extra diplomacy with Austria. 
I think I'll do that. I have pretty good relations with Dosha already, and if I help them in the World Congress, they are going to like me more, so okay, I'm going to vote like this. The World's Fair is almost definitely going to pass, so I'll have to dedicate some production time to that, unfortunately. I don't really like that, but nothing I can do about it. Another war. Portugal declared war on Ramses, wow. So everyone declared war on Ramses? What? Is he at war with like everyone in the game except Arabia? Let's check global politics. Once I can. Not in the middle of the AI turn. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he's at war with pretty much everyone. He's at war with everyone except me and Arabia. And Ethiopia. Yeah, he's not at war with well. Ethiopia. Right, rifling is done. So now I can upgrade my MP for 280 gold. Wow, that's a little bit expensive, but that's an awesome upgrade. And the rifleman kept all of these upgrades. Right, I could upgrade this guy, but I don't want to just yet. Did the world fair pass? Yes, it obviously did. Greece voted for it and Egypt voted for it, so even if I voted against, it would have passed anyway. Yeah, because I only have 5 votes. There are 11 votes for it and 4 votes against it, so even if I voted against the world's fair, it would have passed anyway. Oh, and it's my turn to propose something. So, I need to think about this a little bit, and I was going to finish this part somewhere around here anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. If you have any suggestions about what to propose, feel free to comment below. But this video is done, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.